Um, this brings us to Tatanka. You remember Tatanka, right? Yes. All right. Well, Und- t- undefeated, not the Native American. It was uh, his claim to fame was he was undefeated, and <clears throat> he lost to Ludwig Borga. I remember Ludwig Borga. Well, here's um, Tatanka wasn't so hot on the Click and HBK. Uh, so let's let's listen to uh, Tatanka. And yes, Sean has changed, but back in the day, you know, being brand new, I really didn't know about all the diplomacy that truly happens behind the closed doors. Right, right, so right. the plans were for me to have the belt, but Sean went around with his posse at that time, and I'll leave it at <laughs> that because you know who that was, and they were spreading rumors that I was getting a bad attitude, you know, and, and I ever how that was done, but there's one thing that the office like they do today. They want to make sure that you have the right kind of attitude. So when you move into that position, that you can do business when you have that belt. So Sean knew that if I got my hand on that belt with that undefeated streak and everything that was going on, I'd have had that belt for a while. So these these are the true facts, because this is who it came from, the two names I just told you. They knew the sting would be out of it. I wouldn't go chase Sean Michaels, you know, down in the locker room going, I can't believe you. But that's the facts. That's actually what happened. So it was actually for me to win the belt at WrestleMania, but things got turned around because of uh, hearsay. You recall any of this? Was Tatanka getting the strap? Yeah, I, I have to say something immediately because every time I, 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 you know, if I babble or say anything, it's. I I always thought he had a great attitude. I didn't understand why Ludwig, why Ludwig Borg would beat him, but. I don't remember. Number one, it's like I didn't get the I didn't, I didn't get the fucking belt because I was a they were saying I was a pyromaniac. Well, did were you lighting fucking fires? No. So if you, if if we went to fucking who we went to we went to fences and he's got a bad attitude. Oh, I, oh, I, fuck, I fuck. guess well, you had... well, then, well, then, by God, let's fucking beat him. That's all I need to hear. I can raise her and fucking shot. What, anybody else you want to beat? Yeah, let's fucking beat everybody. Well, let's let's say that. Did you guys, were you in a position of power? Now, in all in all fairness, he doesn't mention your name in this. Okay, he does. He mentions Sean, and I guess alludes to Scott. But I don't. Yeah, I. I, I... Uh, I don't think that I, I, I think I get a lot of fucking Sean's heat by fucking proxy. I think you're right. You know, I, 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 I Sean, I, it's, wait, wait, like, wait, when did Sean go to, to a WrestleMania? So WrestleMania 10 was for the, the double I, the double, uh, IC belts. WrestleMania 11 was Sean versus me. WrestleMania 12 was show, like where, what WrestleMania was he supposed to get the IC belt? I'd have to find the year that the streak was happening. The, no, the, no the I, it would have had to, it had to have been 10 or 11. Sean did Sean didn't have it. Sean wrestled me at 11. He wrestled Scott at 10. Mm-hmm. So you're, you're, it, once again, it's like Brett saying what he said, and it's just like I didn't want to go into it. But when I've thought about it, just like, wait a minute. Like, so he's saying that so and so would work with Hunter. Well, Hunter didn't come in until the, the, the Rumble in, in 95. Right. I was already the world champion. So why would we need anybody to run the click? And we didn't call ourselves the click, the locker room called them, us the click. It's like everybody has. A, a different opinion. It's like that ain't what that. So I just say to Tataka, and I, I like Chris. It's just like when, when were you supposed to win it at WrestleMania? Were you supposed to win it from Sean when he didn't have it? Because you're saying it was Sean that fucking held it up. Now, all right, I'm looking at my notes here. Uh, so Tataka fought him at nine at WrestleMania nine, but. But Sean was the IC champ? No. Sean was the IC champ. I, I mean, I, I helped Sean win the IC champ from, from, I don't know when he had it first, 
But I'm just saying, sure as fuck wasn't when I was there. So, so the wait, belt. So, so can somebody see a fucking? Uh, I got it here. I got it. Tatanka, WrestleMania, WrestleMania nine was was the belt up? up? Yes, it was. Uh, it was for the IC, and it was a count out. So Tatanka defeats Michaels with Luna in his. So Sherry's in Tatanka's corner. Luna is in Michaels' corner. There is no click. Count out. There is no click at WrestleMania fucking nine. So how am I getting drug into this shit? And how is he the fucking stiff one? How is he on my fucking show being the stiff one when I wasn't even in the fucking territory? Well, he's he's going stiff on Sean and and the click. But there is. I said no he click. didn't say your name. I said he There's didn't say no your click. Well, he called. What did he call them? The posse. He said. But I'm assuming he's he's trying to reference. I'm not saying he's right. I'm saying I wasn't he's... there. Sean Waltman wasn't there. So who's the Triple posse H he would have been talking about? There. The only I don't even know if Scott was there. Was Scott at fucking? This is nineteen ninety three, right? Ninety three. Scott, Scott was there. Have, no, this has been ninety two. Wrestle. Uh, ninety three was fucking. I was there. That was that's ten. That's the it's Mass Square Garden. Scott fought Bob Backlund. I guess on this show. So the the posse. You know who I'm talking about. No, I don't. Obviously, I fucking don't know who you're talking about. Don't fucking throw my fucking name out like I was doing some shit. And you know why? You know why I don't know half this fucking shit? Because I wasn't fucking around. I don't That's... know what the fucking two wise men said to the other motherfucker in the cha- in the fucking uh, the manger. Well, that's why we bring it up to sort through these things. Hey man, you got any more? It. You got any more of that fucking? Any more of that fucking smoke? Find some truth in this, Matthew Reed. Hey guys, great show, awesome job. Haven't missed an episode. Question: Thank you. Is Big Kev an Orson Welles fan? And if so, Citizen Kane or The Third Man? War of the Worlds. Oh, the radio broadcast. Brilliance. A work. A, a, a work that a work that came across as a shoot. And <laughs> the thing is, not one chop was thrown during the broadcast. During the broadcast. <laughs> Aliens were chopping furiously. <laughs> Got to go with Citizen Kane, right? I mean, it kind of changed film. You know what? I've, I've, I've probably seen it three or four times in my life. It's just, it's like a wonderful life. It's just one of those things where I just go, eh. Even yeah, for the time period, remember what film was, how sanitized and optimistic and everything it was. And here came this dark portrayal of excess and depressing. And and also the technique too. If we can be a little see, geeky see, in, in, in with the Detroit, deep focus in, photography and in Detroit we called that Monday. <laughs> have a have a round pizza, motherfuckers. <laughs>